really have like a nude lipstick ring around my mouth. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenny Campbell and I make fashion and beauty videos here on YouTube for the busy mom and the mom who wants to look stylish and chic on a budget. And so today I have for you guys my favorite nude lipsticks from the drugstore. If that sounds like something that you are interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Okay, so best drugstore nude lipsticks. I have several in front of me here and I'm going to tell you about them, what my opinion is on them, and show you a swatch of them on my lip. Okay, so let me get started. I have tried all of these lipsticks multiple times. Some of them are my very favorite. Some of them I like for different reasons, which I'll get into. So what I'm gonna start with are some of my very favorites. And those are the L'Oreal Paris Nude Lipsticks, Matte Nude Lipsticks. They look like this in the drugstore. They are so beautiful. I have two favorite shades that I'm gonna show you. The first one is Lilac Impulse, and this is gonna be more of a pinky nude sort of like a mauve color, which I have a couple that are like that. And then my other favorite shade is All Out Pout, which is gonna be a little bit more of a warmer nude. It just kinda of depends on what eye look you're going for. So I'd wear this more with neutrals and pink toned makeup, and this one with a little bit warmer toned makeup. Let me show you what these look like on the lips. This first one I'm gonna show you is Lilac Impulse. Definitely wouldn't wear Lilac Impulse with a bright red pajama shirt. But it's Christmas. Oh, I totally forgot to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Obviously, I'm not filming this on Christmas. None of these are going to be amazing applications because I'm just wanting you to kind of see what it looks like. So this is a matte lipstick formula. Eh, be more matte and not as shiny of a formula, which can be good. They kind of stick around a little bit longer, but they're also a little bit more drying. Okay, so this is what... This is what Lilac Impulse looks like on the lips. It's very subtle, but it's more of a pinky. All of these are gonna be subtle, they're nude lipsticks. Some of them are a little deeper than other ones. The second shade I'm gonna use in the L'Oreal Paris Matte Nude Lipsticks is All Out Pout, and like I said, this one's a little bit warmer, and what I mean by that is just that cooler means it's a little bit pinker in tone. This means it's a little bit warmer, orangier. orangier in tone. And so this is what this one looks like. You can see that difference in tone. So that is all out pout on the lips. You can tell it's a very different tone. It's a very different color, but it's still a really great nude and it looks good. All out pout looks good with a lot of different looks. Actually, so does Lilac Impulse. I keep forgetting the name of that one. So does Lilac Impulse, but I really like all out pout very much too. So those are the two L'Oreal Paris Matte Bullet Lipsticks. These are really good from the drugstore and really inexpensive, so I definitely recommend these. The, these are two that you definitely have to throw in your bag and carry with you because they're not going to last all day long, but they do last pretty well on the lips, and they're beautiful and gorgeous. I just love the way these look. You can see how they look. I have another L'Oreal lipstick, and I didn't check to see if these are still available. But these are the JLo collection, and I got this a, hmm, I'm not sure how long ago, but these are amazing nudes, and this one's called Jennifer's Nude, and it is by far one of my favorites. This is not a matte, pretty sure. No, this is a shiny formula. It is so pretty, and it's kind of a more neutral nude color, so it doesn't lean super warm, doesn't lean super cool. It is so pretty and so shiny. And this one is kind of like just my lips but better. It doesn't really have a super pigmented shade for me. If you're deeper than me, this would be a really light color on you. Um, but I think this is so beautiful and so natural. This reminds me a lot of MAC Blankety, which I talked about in my other makeup must-haves video and so this is a really soft nude very pretty it's not gonna last a super long time on your lips it's definitely one to throw in your bag but that's how mac blankety is too and mac that's gonna be a lot of your money so this is jennifer's nude it's also the l'oreal paris lipstick bullet lipstick so this is a great one too it is gorgeous i'm trying super hard not to have lipstick all over my face but 
probably not going to happen. Okay, next I have two from NYX. I have the NYX Lingerie lipsticks and they're so pretty and so nice on the lips. They're very comfortable to wear and that's why I really like these. This is called Bedtime Flirt. So, interesting name. But this one is really pretty as you can see. It's kind of a I mean, just also a very neutral nude. So I'm gonna show you what this one looks on the lips. This is gonna be a matte formula that is more comfortable to wear on the lips. It's not gonna, like I said, this is not gonna last you through the whole day, but it is more comfortable to wear on the lips, a little bit less drying, and it's really pretty. You can see it's a little bit darker, a little bit more noticeable of a, a color than the L'Oreal one that I just showed you Jennifer's nude so you can definitely tell it's on there so this is NYX lingerie in a bedtime flirt okay my next formula is a NYX soft matte lip cream so these are also a lot more comfortable on the lips and they're gonna be matte but they're gonna be a little bit more just comfortable and silky they're soft matte lip cream so I'll show you this one is let's see this one is called Stockholm, which is kind of weird. This one is definitely a warmer, more orangey nude. But I think it looks really pretty if you're going to do like a peachy pink cheek or something like that. Maybe peach in the eyes. This is a really pretty color to go with. So this is Stockholm. I really like this one too. It's a great peachy nude. Next, I'm going to show you two from Maybelline. The first one is this Vivid Hot Lacquer. I really like this. This is going to be a super glossy formula, like hair gets stuck in it, kind of glossy. I don't think it's super sticky, but it is very glossy. So this one I have in the shade Charmer. I also really like the shade Tease, but I couldn't find my shade Tease. It's a little bit lighter than Charmer, but I really love these. They're super, you can kind of see on camera, they're super glossy. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. I love this one. Okay, so this is Charmer and a vivid hot lacquer it definitely gets on your teeth but it's so beautiful and so glossy i really like this one and it's not too dark of a nude tease is even lighter than this one i think and so this looks pretty on top of lipsticks that might be too dark for you or something like that but it also just is beautiful by itself so i really like this one this one is charmer and again this is the maybelline vivid hot lacquer in charmer from maybelline we have the Super Stay Matte Ink. This is a liquid lipstick formula, so this is going to last you a long time. It says that it's from their Super Stay line, which is supposed to be like 24 hours. This isn't going to last you 24 hours. I mean, once you eat, if you eat something oily, it's going to, you know, start breaking up. But it will last you through minimal eating and drinking, and these stay on really, really, really well. These are great lipsticks in every color. But for nude, I have Loyalist, and this is one of my favorite nudes for a liquid lipstick formula. The bottle makes it look real, real light pink, but it's really not if you look at it. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like. Okay, so this is Loyalist. This one makes me want to, like, put on a beanie and a big scarf. This one, like, totally makes me think of wintertime. This one is so pretty. It's, it is sort of a light peachy pink, but... I just love the color of this one. It is more of like a concealer lips type of look for me. So if you have deeper skin than me, this will be very, very, very light on you. But it stays all day. And if you can find another matte ink formula, obviously for my skin tone, this is a great nude for me. If you have a deeper skin tone than me, the matte ink line has tons of colors. I know um, one of you commented that they have a really great red and so I'm looking to try that one too because this is a really great line of lipsticks so anyway this is definitely loyalist a great one and I'm sure all of their nude lipsticks are beautiful next group of lipsticks nude lipsticks that I have are these from the wet n wild line they're the wet n wild liquid cat suit these are some of my favorites they are a little bit more drying sort of like the Maybelline so they're going to be a little bit more drying, but they will last all day long, and they are super great nudes. One of my favorites is this one. It's Nudie Patootie, and it is a more of a gray type of beige nude, and so this goes in a kind of different direction. It's, it's super cool tone, so it's more of a grayish brown than it is a pink or 
a coral. So this is what nudie patootie looks like. Okay, so this is nudie patootie. This one's really nude on me. Obviously, it's very close to my skin tone, so it, it does really look like a concealer lips type of lipstick. I really like it, though, for certain looks, and it's going to be the nudest nude on me. But I think it's a beautiful, it can, it can take something that's a little too warm toned and tone it down a little bit. And so it's really good for mixing. And so I definitely use it in that way. It can also make something, it can make it a little more cool toned and then also make it last a little bit longer. So Nudie Patootie is a great one for mixing and toning down. I feel like I totally have like a nude lipstick okay, ring on The next on my one lips. is the same thing, the liquid catsuit, but this one is in Rebel Rose. So this is going to be more of a mauve pink. And it's also really pretty. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit more mauve. Okay, so this is Rebel Rose. So it's a little yes. bit more mauve-y. Sorry about the lines, you guys. I'm going through these pretty fast. But it's a little bit more mauve-y than Nudie Patootie, but it's still, I would consider a nude because it is a pinky nude. This is as deep as I would go for a nude. Anyway, so those are the liquid cat suits. They will last you all day. They're beautiful. That's what I think of that. And the very last drugstore nude that I think is amazing is this one from Milani. I have the shade Adorable. This is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. These are so good. They are a little bit drying. I mean, they're liquid lipstick, but they're not bad at all. And they're so beautiful and they last so long for such an affordable lipstick. And so, like I said, I have the shade Adorable. This is one of my favorite nudes. I wear this one all the time. It has a, and Milani has a bunch of great lip liners too, if you like to do a lip liner. Okay, and this is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in Adorable. This is my favorite one. It is kind of deep, but it is by far my favorite. It's beautiful, it dries down matte, and it just, in my opinion, takes the cake. All of these are gorgeous. All of them are affordable. And so, there you go. So that was my favorite drugstore affordable nude lipsticks. <laughs> So if you like that video and you want to see more like it, then please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below so that you won't miss any videos that I post in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.